What about the skills? I want to tell you, you know, to be very clear that your hairstyling skills or whatever form of the beauty industry you're in, the skills, they are important. But what I also want to share with you is that they are going to only contribute about 20% to your success. So, I don't want you to focus all of your time and energy on just your technical skills, your cutting and your coloring and your styling. Although I want you to get better, I want you to be the best that you can be. I want those heads going out of the salon, turning heads and saying, wow, you know, who did your hair? I want them online where it's like, not only are they liking, but they're trying to find out where are you? I want you to do my hair. Um, so those skills, they are important, but I want you to keep in mind that there are some, some other skills that you may need to work on or may want to work on as you start to reinvent yourself. So what about personal development? What are the things that you're doing to make yourself a better person, make yourself more of value to the clients that you're wanting to serve? Um, what about learning the business side of the business? Um, I just was able to interview Floyd Kenyatta and he really spoke to understanding, you know, it's like that a calculator is one of your key skill sets is that you need to know what your numbers are. You need to pay attention to the business um, side of everything, you know, and I'm a big believer, you know, I coach um, my students, clients, hairstylists and salon owners just like you to start to keep up with their key numbers. Like what are those key numbers and how do you track them? How do you keep up with them so that you can make decisions based on 